Today we will be taking a quick overview and doing a little uh, application guide for the uh, Kimpin Cooling uh, KPX thermal paste, which is one of the best uh, conventional thermal paste options on the market right now, alongside Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut and the Jelly GC Extreme. Uh, the KPX comes in three different sized uh, packages, so in a 3 gram sized tube and in a 10 gram and a 30 gram sized jar. This one here is the largest option you can find on the market, so the 30 gram size jar. And obviously the gram price uh, goes down the larger the amount is that you buy. So inside the packaging you can obviously find the thermal paste itself, uh, along with a plastic included applicator, which you can use to spread the thermal paste with. So currently in the socket is the uh, Tencore 7900X, which was used in the... Uh, 10 core category records video and it has the uh, custom IHS made by Barks on it. So uh, what I usually like to do uh, is to cover the whole uh, IHS manually using the uh, plastic included applicator. So we can just take some thermal paste out of the jar and manually uh, apply it using the applicator. So this way we can be totally sure that the whole uh, surface of the IHS is covered compared to the more standard or more common P-size dot methods or similar which often uh, result in the whole IHS being uh, partially covered. Uh, you only need a thin, very thin layer so the rest of the uh, base spread process is uh, being done by the uh, pressure from the cooler so that is pretty much how it looks like so uh, here in the pictures now you can see the exactly the same CPU with the same IHS uh, after uh, being mounted with the uh, Kimpin cooling uh, T-Rex CPU container and you can clearly see how uh, perfect the mount uh, has been. So you can see that there's next to no thermal paste left anymore on the uh, both surfaces so most of the thermal paste has been pushed to the sides, so uh, away from the IHS and the part of the cooler that touches the IHS. So you can't really put too much uh, thermal paste on top of the CPU as all the excess will be pushed uh, away uh, anyways. But if you put too little thermal paste, then there is not adequate uh, thermal contact between the uh, two uh, surfaces. So the more common method especially a beginner's use, is by applying a P-sized dot or a right-sized dot on the middle of the IHS. Uh, but I can tell you that that is not uh, enough at all, especially now on these uh, larger uh, CPUs. So, uh, of course, that now when I'm using a thermal paste that comes in a jar, it's not so easy to demonstrate the uh, P-sized dot compared to a paste that comes in a tube. But if we use that as the, like the comparison method. We can now take the uh, Kimping Cooling T-Rex CPU container and do a test mount on the on the 7900X and see how well it spreads. So uh, of course this isn't the best possible way as I'm not doing like a real mount but just do, doing it by hand. So if we remove the cooler we can clearly see that that amount of thermal paste was not enough so there is quite a lot of space at the edges and the corners of the CPU that is not covered with the thermal paste. So there you can clearly lose some uh, uh, thermal performance. 